Hair Clinic, if you have this fucking crazy dream of being someone in makeup and singing and music and fucking baking and fashion and designing and, I don't know, video gamer, like, whatever your dream is, and you're fucking broke. When you start and you have nothing and you come from values, but there's no cash and your parents cannot fucking help you fund your stupid idea because it's stupid because in the real world where you come from, from a hardworking family that works a nine to five, that there's not a lot of opportunities, you know, that's a really stupid idea. For example, mine is to be an artist. Oh, I'm going to be an artist. I'm going to be a fucking artist that everyone can love. That's a stupid idea. Hola. So what do you want to do, San? Oh, I want to be an artist. What's that, loca? Eso no es dinero. Eso no te va a dejar dinero. Eso no es un oficio. Eso no es un trabajo. Tienes que ir al colegio. Tienes que graduarte. Tienes que, que ser una persona educada, con educación, con una maestría, con un diploma. ¿Cómo van a ser pintora? Eso no es un trabajo honorable. Tienes que meterte a la escuela. No. Negative. I'm a fucking be a boss. And I'm a be a hustler. So when I started my dream, there was no money to fund it. My mom loved me. But she couldn't understand it. Like, what do you mean you're going to be an artist? And a couple of times, you know, her coworkers would be like, no, tell her to get a job. Look at her daughters. Our daughters are going to college. Our daughters are going to go to the And she'll come home and she'll be like, son, ponte a trabajar, mija. Maybe just do art as a hobby. And then she'll be like, you know what, no, 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 paint, paint. If you want to paint, go for it. So I knew it wasn't her. It was the people around her t telling her like, well, our daughters are going to college. What about yours? Mama, ¿y dónde pintando paredes rayando por todos los ángeles? Dice que quiero ser pintora famosa. Que va a pintar paredes y que va a ser como la Frida Caro y la Coco Chanel. Pero yo, yo confío en ella que se iba a subir, que, que se iba a subir y que se iba a poder sobresalir. My mom blindly always believed in my dream. And if your parents believe in your dream, more power to you because your parents believe in your dream. If your parents are stupid, don't believe in your dream, don't get fucking discouraged. They just don't understand it. But once the money starts rolling in and once you start being successful, they will understand it and they will applaud you. But we're doing things that our old school parents and old school siblings and family members cannot understand. Oh, you want to be a famous makeup artist? ¿Qué puta es eso, vos? Oh, ¿cómo chingados que te vas a ir a pintarrajear caras? ¿Cómo que vas a ser pintora de maquí? ¿Qué es, qué es esa chingadera? Son chingaderas. Vete al colegio. You know? So, uh, wow. us millennials and, and the new generation, we have these crazy ideas of how to make money, and it's not no longer going to college and having a nine to five. And it is going to college too, but some of us are crazy dreamers. Like, some of us artists are dreamers and we're crazy. I didn't go to college. That was not an idea that was in my head. That was not my dream. But everyone's dream is different. In order to make money, I worked at Puerto Campero. I tried to work at Starbucks. I worked as an art teacher for after school programs. I worked at, at, during the summer for summer programs, teaching art in fucking Compton, South Central. What? Some, it was called Summer Night Lights. I worked as, a, I was a greeter at Pueblo Campero, a cashier. I used to fry chicken. I've done many fucking macuarra jobs, many fucking obrero jobs. I've been an obrera, I've been a burrera, but I always knew that one day, algo iba a salir de eso. And every time I would get paid, I would give a little bit of money to my mom and the rest, I would use it for my paint. And we had EBT, so we had fucking food. We had California fresh food, so we were able to buy comida and there was always food in my house. There was always arroz, frijoles, tortillas, caponudos, hamburguesas del McDonald's, two for five little Caesar's pizza. So food was never the issue. But I was a starving artist because I was hoping to one day make money off my art. So yo me iba a trabajar, I would go to work. Trabajaba y con el cheque me daban, which was nothing, dude. I would make, I, would, I was working four, four days out of the week, about four hours, not even eight hours. So I was making about a hundred bucks a week. That's discounting taxes, like 107 I would make. And that's when, that's when it was like 725 an hour, you know? I was in, I was in high school when I had that job at Pueblo Campero. Then I got fucking fired for being useless and being a waste of time to the company. Fuck that. I'm so glad I got fired because that motivated me to never work a job again and to just want to be an artist so fucking bad. So I would go after school programs. I was an art teacher. Pintaba paredes, pintaba ventanas. I would paint windows, pintaba rotulos. Me fui de rotulita. I was a sign painter. From 16, 17 to 18 to 19 years old, I was painting signs. I was painting murals. I would paint a, to a troca lonchera, like a, like a taco truck. Order here, pick up here. Tacos, asada, carnitas, uh, oreja, lengua. Like I would do the taco truck. 
I would do signs, I would do vinyl letters, I would do banners, and I would paint these things. Then I would walk up and down Whittier Boulevard, East LA, South Central, West Compton, Uptown Whittier. Um, I'll go to Hollywood Boulevard and I'll be like, hi, my name is Stan, I'm a sign painter. Are you interested in promoting any kind of deals that you have in your business? Or maybe do you want to put your hours of operation or do you want to put your logo on your window? I do vinyl letters or I can paint your stuff on your window. I can actually do a mural too if you let me. I'll charge you cheaper, I'll charge you cheaper if you let me add a doll to your, to your wall and I'll put the doll eating a marisco plate. You know, and I'll promote your new marisco deal that you have. I was so hungry that I would walk into every single fucking tienda and I would be like, hi. I paint signs. Would you like me to paint a sign? A day, the luckiest I would get, I'll make maybe like a hundred bucks, 50 bucks the most. And it would take me hours to paint those windows, but I was committed that one day this was going to take me somewhere. And I was so dedicated that I was making money off of my own hands that I was just inspired by that. I was, it was commitment. It was dedication that I was making money, even though it was nothing, but I was making money with my fucking two hands and my two feet and with my mouth. That's how I learned to not be shy. I used to be so shy before, so I had to fucking remove the shyness from my body and be like, look, you're fucking broke, and if you don't fucking open your mouth, you're gonna fucking die starving. I'm not gonna go to college. I'm not gonna get a career where it, it allows me to be shy and be quiet. Like, I need to fucking speak. If I don't speak, I'm gonna fucking rock. And in the world that I wanna live in, I need to be able to fucking speak. <sighs> So I'm gonna fucking start talking and that's what I did and now you can't shut me up but I was the shyest girl ever I was a fucking nerd growing up I was quiet I read Harry Potter and write books I would never talk I had no idea what to say if he would say hi to me I would just be like oh shit he said hi oh my god what do I say I was the shyest girl ever and when I when I turned 15 I was like dude you gotta start talking that's it. You gotta start talking, fam, because the world you're going into has to be a world far away from the one you know, and you need to start fucking opening your mouth. And look, I found my audience. I found you guys. But I worked fucked up jobs, but I knew that those fucked up jobs were gonna turn into something. So I would go fucking paint windows, paint signs, and I would go into every single business. I had a little business card that I made on uh, from a printer. I went to a print shop and I was like, make me a business card. My title is artist. I am an artist and sign painter. I just I just claimed that as my title. So I'm 17, 18, 19, and I'm walking the street. I painted signs in Miami. I moved to Miami when I fell in love and I was living with this guy. He was amazing, but it didn't work out. Um, and I would paint signs. And that's how I got through to be able to pay for my dream, which is painting my dolls, doing my art. So if you gotta work a fucked up job to be able to fulfill your dream, by all means, fucking do it. Even if you fucking hate the job, but put it in your head that jo that, that job is gonna fucking financially support you, a little bit of your family, a little bit of you, but your dream. And that dream is eventually gonna become your full financial support. And with that dream, you're gonna be able to fucking support yourself and be happy because you're gonna do whatever it is that your dream is. Makeup, baking, uh, being a boxer, being a wrestler, being a fucking rapper, a singer, being a baker, I don't know, being a fashion designer. If you don't have the money to be able to make it, you need to go fucking get a job and let that little job fund your dream. And don't be afraid to fucking get your fucking hands dirty. I remember being dirty as fuck, working that fucking sign job hustle that I did. I wouldn't even clean the window. After the holidays were over, I'll go back to all my accounts. I call them accounts. I'll be like, hola, vengo a limpiar la ventana. Ya, yeah, ya pasó el día del pavo. Ya, yeah, claro, mica, pinta la ventana, limpiala. So I'll fucking get the rags, I'll get this Windex, I'll get a little squeegee with the blade and I'll clean the windows. And I was like, I'm so pretty. Why am I suffering? Like, why am I going through this? Why am I making myself struggle? Like, I'm not ugly. You know, I could just end the struggle right now and just look for a fucking guy that can just take care of me. But I want to struggle though. I feel like the struggle is going to take me somewhere. I want to be independent and be on my own and do it on my own. Fuck it, I'm gonna keep fucking being a macuarra. I'm gonna fucking keep fucking pintando paredes con el dinero que gano, ayudando a mi mamá. Y un día esas paredes se van a convertir en, en, en mi carrera, en mi vida. And like all the walls that I ever painted for free have now become my success. 
and I'm still working on the ladder. I'm still climbing the ladder. But I'm gonna fucking be known and I'm gonna be an artist forever and ever. And my whole life I'm gonna dedicate it to my art. And that's what I represent to you as my collector. A fucking female that did not give up. A female that did not fucking bow down to being broke and not having money. And I found outlets and I found ways to be able to fucking support my dream. Financially support my dream. I didn't beg no one. I didn't fucking look for an investor. I didn't ask like, oh, I need an investor. Now fuck that. Be your own fucking investor. Stop trying to fucking beg someone to fucking give you money. Bitch, go fucking get a job. And you invest in your fucking dream. And like that, you have full control of your dream. And no stupid investor can tell you what the fuck to do with your dream. It's your dream, bitch. So you go fucking do it. I'm done. Goodbye.